I beat my alarm. Yep. So hello, Wednesday, December 2nd, 7.44 a.m. Hey, Dad. Yeah. So I have a question. My question. Yeah, I can barely hear you. How many more days till Christmas? Twenty-four. Oh, you already did it. Oh, morning, little baby. Hiya, toots. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, no more. I'll stop. with the simple artifact that goes with it. Okay. Hey guys, it is I, and here we are at day two, December 2nd, Vlogmas time. That beautiful, glorious time of year and my first attempt try. <laughs> That's basically what it is. That's all it is. Anyway, at Vlogmas. So, and am I Probably already. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm stressed out with school and classes and homework and finals, which are officially this next week, but everything ends by the 16th. That's my last day of classes, and that means that I will have survived this hellish semester. It's been not shit, but it's just been a lot, I feel like. I decided to take seven classes and 17 credits, and that was on me. That was my bad. That's a big fat mistake. But if I pass all these classes, that means I only have 13 classes left until the beautiful, glorious day where I finally do graduate and move on with my life and really start and begin my life, you know? It's just going to be a nice chapter, and I'm really excited for it. I look forward to my own life, my own space, my own place, you know. So I think it's going to be really, really nice. But anyway, the plans for today, a homework day, a catch-up day, I'm going to be on my laptop a lot, just trying to get things and stuff done and work ahead. There's these two classes which require a lot of work and a lot of time. One is an English class. We're supposed to read bloody, blasted, 20 freaking fucking books throughout the semester by the end of the semester. Did I say 20? Yeah, I said 20. Um, and then this other class, it's like a math class, and 
it's very unique. You have to come up with all kinds of activities, and you have to read quite a bit as well. It's a unique math class, so there's a lot of work for that as well. So I have a big project, well, two big projects, one tomorrow, one next week, either Tuesday or Thursday, depends on when you sign up. That's English, and then I have a lot due for my STEM class, which is the math class that I just talked about. That's due by Monday, like four different things, if not more, I have to double check. Then I meet with my teacher again. Um, probably not via phone call, this time maybe in person, which will help more. I don't know what will be more beneficial, either that or over Zoom, we'll find out. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm feeling accomplished a little bit low today, feeling kind of sort of blue, and I don't really know why. With the bipolar and being a rapid cycler, um, it's one minute, very happy, euphoric vibes, and then the next very down, more than down in the dumps, just want to, like, die <laughs> a slow, painful death, but that's very dramatic of me. But just, my mood can be all over the place, up and down, like a freaking cracking roller coaster, and I've got to stop saying those two words together. But anyway, I can't really complain about life, and I always include in my prayers what I'm grateful for, and it seems like every day the list just keeps on growing, you know, and I think that's really important, especially if you are bipolar or struggle with an illness of any kind, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical, etc. I think it really helps to be grateful, and it's easier said than done, and we live in a crazy world, and it can be just too crazy and overwhelming sometimes, to the point where it is ridiculous, and there's just all this drama and things and stuff going on, and it can be very scary and just too much sometimes. In our individual lives, we pile that on, and all of the feelings that we feel day to day and throughout our lives, and just how we feel up and down emotionally, and how life can just be so hard. It's hard enough as it is, but you pile on expectations, work and school and family and friends and emotional needs and your health, you know, the health you see, the health you feel, all kinds of things. And with me, it's more internal and I feel things very strongly. And anyway, I'm just trying to work on my book and my vlogs and the like right now and just do me while trying to also be a student. And I have to pat myself on the back and I'm not trying to shoot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job, and it's been a pretty good year despite COVID. I just really have to go on my trip. Like, I have to. I hope and pray that it works out. I've got to see people, and I really miss those guys over there. Um, but anyway, so today's just going to be a day of homework, <laughs> so I should work on that. I'm going to try to do two to three big things. Um, I'll see how it goes. Probably meet with my teacher on Friday. I have to plan that. Um, finals basically start next week in full force, full swing. And hopefully I can walk the dog or fit in a walk somehow, maybe on campus at the track with my dad. My mom's out of town. I'll also, uh, I'll also help my dad with the grandkids. He's like playing mom slash grandma, you know. Um, got my niece and nephew downstairs right now, and I think they were playing a cute little song over there downstairs. That was cute, but anyway, so life is good. Um, it's just my mood can be all over the place, and I'm really stressed and overwhelmed regarding school right now. And yeah, next semester I really want it quiet, and I'm thinking five classes, 12 credits, which is basically barely full-time but I got a scholarship. I don't have to pay a penny next semester, so that's pretty freaking fucking sweet. And I said it again, and I couldn't help myself or stop myself in time. But anyway, I feel a little bit better just having gotten that off my chest and those words out of my mouth. Um, I think it really helps to talk even to a camera. A camera right now, and when this is uploaded, for all to see and hear, you know, I think just knowing that other people will hear me out and hear what I have to say about feelings in life and the craziness in my life right now, the craziness that is my life right now. Anyway, I think it really helps just to share and express and kind of rant and ramble, you know? But anyway, um, that's all I had to say.
and now I will turn myself around in my cute little chair, grab my laptop, and start attacking those assignments. So, thank you for being a listening ear and for being me. So, yeah, I hope that you're doing well. And the vlogmas, by the way, from now till the 16th will be kind of dull, I guess. Just a lot of assignments. I'll try to be interesting and fun, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm desperately trying to remember, and I cannot recollect, but what this is called, it's like you have these clothes and items, whatever, the fashion, the makeup, all laid out beautifully on the floor or whatever, like a rug. I don't know. I'm such a pro, just kidding. But no, so this is the most annoying thing. This is some Poshmark drama that we got going. Bun Bun says hi, by the way. But anyway, so this person puts in a bundle after they like things, heart things, whatever, these items on their Poshmark. So they put these two. Is that right? They do. So it's this sweatshirt and then the choker, okay? And I love this one. There's even an art piece of it, the happiness go round. It's all cool, the planet, the astronauts hanging out or like flying around, then the quote, whatever. So it's great. It's just, it's not really my style. I would prefer an art piece. Anyway, that's a different story. So what happens is I comment on the bundle and I make a good deal. It was like $9 instead of the 18 that this would add up to be around. Anyway, um, I take it down to $9 and then to ship, I was like, okay, $4.99. So I was being really nice and kind about it, mostly because I like good deals, but plus especially this, I don't know if you can tell, but the plastic of the choker, the pink, it has like these creases, these dents in it, it's bent. And so I warned the person and I was like, I'm so sorry. I forgot that this could be a problem. And I don't know if a heavy book, like the weight of it could help out with that. So I'm really not sure. And I forgot to put it in the description when I um, went to list it. So I was like, do I take it down? Do you still want it? So then I was like, how about you pick another item of your choice? You can still have the choker if you want. So she picks these sweats. And then I was going to throw in this free gift. This was like two days ago. And so then she's like, okay, just take your time. And when she said take your time, she was referring to the necklace and how I was like, oh, I wasn't sure if you were still interested. So I took it off. <laughs> So I took it out of the bundle and I took it off my closet and whatever. Very annoying. So then I relist it before my class yesterday, my first class of the day, just trying to make the buyer happy. And after all that, she doesn't seem to want it anymore. So kind of pissed me off. It's really, really frustrating because after all that hard work. But this is still getting attention and I changed the description of it when I relisted it. So hopefully people are more aware and they can tell. But anyway, that's just some Poshmark drama for you. Although, after a while, like a dry spell, I guess that's what it's called, is that whatever. Um, what happened was, after a dry spell, I finally saw something the other day. And that was very nice. It was like Thanksgiving Day, I think. So, thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, why do I have this sit right here? I mean, I pick my face, and that's a different story for another day if I'm brave enough to ever tell it officially and fully. But anyway, there's this thing. I picked it barely and now it's just like this mountain and underneath is like this pool of oil, I swear. So it's like a cyst kind of now, a wannabe cyst. I'm so sad and I don't really have my bangs anymore. If you can call these bangs, they're like curtain bangs, but way grown out. Once upon a time, straight across bangs. And I can't, like, hide them anymore. And it's funny because now that my bangs are off my forehead and growing out, my zits are back. Like, you would think the oil of the hairs on the forehead would cause and result in zits. But now that the bangs and the oils of the hair are off the forehead, the forehead is in pain. So, what's that about? Maxie, where's your snow? Oh. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's not mine. <laughs> I'm not an animal. But I am cold. I am freezing. <laughs> Well, I am in a, like a short sleeve, so uh, 